name is Zoe Harkham and I'm author of The Harkham Diet. This is the second part of the diet tips that we've just done for why you must work with your body if you want to lose weight. And that means you must not count calories, you must not go for low fat foods, you must not try and eat less if you want to lose weight. You've got to work with this fantastic thing that is your body and have it working with you to help you losing weight. Now we heard in the first part the three direct things that your body will do if you start trying to count calories. There are three indirect things that your body will do as well, but they're equally certain to happen and equally powerful in sabotaging any hope that you've got in trying to lose weight. So the second group, the first thing that happens, is you're going to eat more carbohydrates. First thing that happens when you go on a calorie controlled diet is that you will increase the carbohydrates in your diet and you will decrease the proportion of fat. Quite simply, because fat has got nine calories per gram, carbohydrates have got four, so every time you're faced with a, a choice, food choice, the carbohydrates are going to win. You're going to look at one salmon steak and think, well, that's about 300 calories. For those 300 calories, I could have a packet of sweets that I could munch throughout the day to keep me going. I could have an apple, I could have a pear, I could have a calorie counted muffin. You'll start working out what you can get instead of having that salmon steak or piece of chicken or piece of steak, real food, and you'll start choosing the processed food over the real food every time. It just happens. Every time you go on a calorie controlled diet, you eat more carbohydrates. The second thing that you do is you reduce the variety of food that you eat. Because you get used to knowing what has got the fewest calories, you always want to go for the biggest bang for the buck. If somebody puts you on a thousand calorie day diet, you can't bear the thought of having just three salmon steaks and a couple of bowls of vegetables. You're going to want to think, what's the most food I can have for a thousand calories? When you've worked out what it is, you're going to have the same cereal, the same cereal bars, the same calorie counted ready meals, the same calorie counted desserts, you're going to have those day in, day out. That directly feeds the second condition that causes insatiable food cravings, which is of course food intolerance. Food intolerance is eating too much of the same thing too often. As soon as you reduce the variety of food, you are straight into the territory of food intolerance. And the third thing that you do is quite simply just to weaken your immune system. You're not giving it enough fuel, you're not putting enough calories into your body to actually live, so you're definitely going to weaken your immune system. You're almost certainly not going to put enough fat into your body, and you need fat for every cell to be optimised within your body, and you're just going to reduce the variety of foods eaten, so you're going to have nutritional deficiencies. So you're going to put your body in a very bad state, Again, where it's going to start fighting you and trying to get you to eat because there are nutrients that you're not giving it that it desperately needs. So if you really want this incredibly powerful machine, the only tool that you've got in getting your body to the size you want it to be, if you want it working against you, carry on counting calories. If you want it working for you in the most powerful way that you can imagine, give it three fantastically healthy, good-sized meals a day, day in, day out, never skipping, never starving, only real food. It will thank you for it. It really will. Thanks for listening. Hope this has helped.